What's going on guys and gals? My name is Neko Fluttershy and welcome to a video. So I've noticed something within the past few uh, weeks. What is that? You might be wondering. What, what, what have I noticed? Well, let me fucking tell you. So I've noticed that video game movies, you know, uh, movies based on video games, are making a comeback. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, you know how back in the 80s and 90s, more so the 90s, uh, video game based movies like Mortal Kombat and uh, Super Mario Brothers movie and whatever, you know how all that came to be and they existed and shit like that in other movies? Well, they were big for a while, they kind of stopped, and now they're making, I guess you could say, a uh, resurgence. Uh, and it, it kind of started maybe a year or two ago with um, a couple movies like Detective Pikachu, and uh, which is a kind of a video game based movie. Not really, but in a way it is as well. Like, it's based off the Pokemon video game series, but they put a spin on it to an extent. And then there's the Sonic the Hedgehog movie, and then, you know, here and there, there's there's a Ratchet and Clank movie that came out as well. Um, however long ago that was, I can't remember. But, but, now there's more movies coming out, and a TV series and whatnot. So, I think maybe we should talk about them and see exactly what my thoughts are on these you know, ideas for movies. Also, let's not forget about the Castlevania anime uh, that exists. <laughs> um, anyways, so the first thing I'd like to talk about is um, the Borderlands movie. Yes, they're making uh, apparently a movie based on Borderlands, and they already have some actors and actresses already lined up. The, uh, I heard some that Jamie Lee Curtis, you know, the, the more so the final girl from the Halloween movies, you know, her, she's in it, she's going to be in it. Uh, Jack Black, I heard, is also going to be in it. Now, I am scared, honestly. Even if you have big name actors and actresses like Jack Black and, um, you know, Jamie Lee Curtis and whatnot, my thoughts are pretty much going to be the same. I'm fucking terrified for this movie. Because live action video game movies, well, with a few exceptions, like uh, Detective Pikachu and, um, you know, the Sonic movie, have not been very good. You know, when trans, you know, video game movies and video games in general have not really been good when transitioning into, um, you know, the, uh, the fucking good old-fashioned live-action route. So that's one thing I'm scared of. Secondly, how the fuck are they going to make a movie based on Borderlands? Is it going to be like Mad Max? Because in a way, that's kind of what it is. If you look into it a certain way, uh, Borderlands, you know, the video game is kind of like Mad Max, where in some sort of universe ran by psychos and other things like that, and you have to survive and things like that. And I, I forgot what the plot of Mad Max was. I haven't really seen the movie or didn't... I don't really care about that movie, honestly. But, um... You know, it... I, you know, I'm kind of scared for it because, like, what's the plot? What's the idea? Are you gonna fuck around? Because, like, sometimes in that game you have to fuck around a little bit, you know? Um, and, and, like, even with House of the Dead, I mean, it didn't, I mean, there wasn't really much that stayed faithful to the game. So, and that's one thing I don't, I mean, it's not that I have a problem with video game based movies. I don't. I actually love seeing the idea of video game movies coming to life. You know, uh, as if the characters from the game are showing up in the real world. I love that idea. But 
It has to be executed poor. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it has to be executed poorly. No, uh, it has to be executed properly. You can't just make a movie based on things like Skyrim or something like that, which, I mean, I want them to make a movie based on Skyrim. That would be fucking awesome if they did. Um, but, you know, like, you can't just fuck around with Borderlands. Because not only are you going to piss off the moviegoers that love watching movies, but you're going to piss off us gamers if the movie isn't right, or what we expect it to be like, you know, with the, uh, you know, the series. And again, I really want to see how they do it. Uh, now let's talk about something that's not exactly movie-based, uh, but rather a TV series that they're planning on making. So, they're planning on making a TV series to The Last of Us. That video game for the PlayStation, you know, the PS3 and PS4, that are about zombies and survival and whatnot. A really great game. I highly recommend you guys and gals check it out, if you haven't already. But, they're making a TV series based on The Last of Us. I, I think it's HBO, I think they said, are the ones that are coming up with the idea and, and are making it a thing. And I think it was also HBO, I'm not really positive, because I don't really give two pisses about Game of Thrones. I don't, I don't give a fuck about that at all. I don't really see what the hype was but behind Game of Thrones, but whatever. So, you know, I, I think they're the same ones that made Game of Thrones. So if they're going to make a game or a TV show based off a popular video game series, I actually have high hopes for this TV series. I mean, you got a really awesome video game series. You know, The Last of Us, The Last of Us Remastered, and then The Last of Us 2, or Part 2. But some people are like, no, 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 don't even put that game in the same fucking boat. Don't you dare. Well, too late. I already did. Even though I've never played it, I'm just going to say it's good, just for the sake of pissing off a lot of people. I love pissing off people. <laughs> Um, but, however, uh, and also you can combine that with the fact that it's also being aired on HBO and, and a lot of good shows came from there apparently, and one of them being, I, I think it was Game of Thrones, I'm not really sure. I don't know anything about Game of Thrones or the procedure that exists on the Game of Thrones, but, yeah. So, I'm actually excited for that. Um, now, am I going to get a subscription to HBO or something like that just for, um, you know, Last of Us? No. I don't want to get a subscription to any service just for one TV series or movie that I want to watch. And I'm already not really much of a TV goer. Anything I watch is mostly on YouTube. If I give a fuck. Like, I'll watch some My Little Pony highlight clips. I'll watch some... Um... Whatever. Um, you know, most of what I watch is like Jacksepticeye or Markiplier or, or maybe uh, Kadikaris. I don't really watch much actual TV. So, that's, that's another waste. Even with the streaming service, I would not want to do that. Um... But... I am curious as to how they're going to do it. Um, like, and I've already saw a few things of who's going to play Ellie, who's going to play Joel. I, I don't know any of these fucking people. I don't think I will ever know these people. But, um, nor will I ever care. But, let's just say... Um, that they do decide to make a Last of Us TV series and it turned out to be good. How is it going to be good? You know, that's what I want to find out. How good is The Last of Us going to be when adapted into a TV series? I, I In a way, I kind of think that 
The Last of Us would probably, in my personal opinion, would be a little bit better off being a movie, much like uh, Resident Evil. Now, the Resident Evil movie series is hit or miss for a lot of people. They're like, oh, no, no, no. No, Resident Evil fucking sucks in movie form. Oh, no, that's horrible. But is it really? I mean, it's got zombies. And honestly, it's just like Resident Evil 6. You don't exactly have to have... Um, you, don't, you don't have to have... A lot of survival horror into it. You can just pretty much do whatever. And uh, with that. But I, again, I kind of feel like maybe The Last of Us would be, again, better off as a TV series. Right off the bat. Um, in some ways. But also I think it would be great for it to be a movie in some other cases. Um... I, have, I don't know anything about this, honestly. I just heard about it from, like, Facebook and, and uh, Twitter and things like that. So, take that what you will. Um, I don't really know exactly. But I also heard that they're making uh, another uh, Mortal Kombat movie. Uh, I, I think they said it's, like, going to be... It's going to be, like, Mortal Kombat and Mortal Kombat Annihilation, where it's uh, live action, I think. And I'm excited for that, honestly, because I, I loved Annihilation. Annihilation was a pretty good movie, and uh, the original Mortal Kombat was also a pretty good movie as well. So you have both those, and uh, yeah. So, I mean, also, my question is, I mean, one, one question I do have, what is the plot going to be? You can't just make a movie based off a fighting game with no plot. I mean, in Mortal Kombat 1, you know, the, the movie, they went to a tournament, they fought, you know, I, I think they fought Goro and things like that, so, I, mean, I want to see what happens. Is, is it going to be like, you know, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, you know, or Mortal Kombat 3 in general? Am I going to see a whole bunch of uh, deformed enemies, like uh, Motaro? Am I going to see... A lot of characters from the third game. Is it going to be like Deadly Alliance? Are they going to kill Liu Kang? I mean, I don't know. What is the plot going to be? Are you going to take it from any of the main line of games? Are you going to do something from a spin-off? Are you going to do... Um, your own thing? I mean, that's what I want to find out. If you're going to do something... That was a bad move. <laughs> but if you're going to do something, at least let the audience know what you're planning on doing. So that we can decide, oh, okay, so they're making their own spin on it. That's cool. Um, but if it's going to be Mortal Kombat, I'm going to tell you something. I'm, I'm excited for it, regardless, because I love Mortal Kombat. It's a really great video game series. And I highly recommend you guys and gals play it if you haven't already. My recommendations are Deadly Alliance, Deception, and Armageddon. Uh, also, yeah, Mortal Kombat X is pretty good as well. But, you know, honestly, same with uh, Borderlands. I'm kind of scared for it. Because, again... It's another live-action adaptation of a video game. And that's also another thing I'm scared of with The Last of Us. Is it's a live-action adaptation of a video game franchise. And when you have that, it probably might flop. I don't know. Now, okay. At the end of this video, I'm going to give my actual thoughts as to... In my personal opinion, do I, you know, if I think that the uh, the movie is gonna flop or succeed? Right. Um, another thing, another movie that's coming out pretty soon, uh, maybe a year or two from now, is Sonic the Hedgehog 2, the sequel to the first movie. Now, I haven't seen the first movie. Um, so I don't know shit about what the hell is happening. All I know is, uh, 
Wait, what the fuck is his face? The guy that played, um... Oh yeah, Jim Carrey, that guy. All I know is Jim Carrey goes around trying to capture a hedgehog. That isn't even really the same hedgehog from the video games and the blah blah blah. And I know that they, um, they fixed the design because the original design was fucking horrible. <laughs> Nightmare fuel would be an understatement. Um, of the century. But, whoa. Oh, that was close. But anyways, you know, what do I think should happen for the sequel? Well, you gotta have Tails in there. Because Sonic the Hedgehog 2 had Tails. And yeah, the old Miles Prower. And things like that. You have to make Tails look good. Okay? Make Tails look like he belongs in this world. Make it look like he deserves to be an actual character. Make him feel welcome in this world by fans and critics alike. I don't want to see him fuck up my boy Tails, you know, because Tails is my favorite character in Sonic. Cream being a very close second. Um, but... Damn it. <laughs> Let's kind of focus a little bit on this. And I know I probably shouldn't do this because I'm getting a little bit of iron, but whatever. But anyways, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. I mean, I guess seeing as how the first game, or the, the first movie, did so well after they redesigned it. I'm, I'm just going to say I have hopes for the... Uh, I have high hopes for the uh, the sequel. And well, most of the time the theory is true that you know the sequels are almost never as good as the original, you know, the very first in the series, which a lot of times I can totally agree with you on that. I mean, hell, fucking sequels to video games are not always as good as the first ever. And a lot of, I mean, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, hopefully it's like the game where a lot of people say that it's better than the first. But, look at Nightmare on Elm Street. That series. The first movie was fucking awesome. I mean, the second movie was good too, but, like, the original Nightmare on Elm Street was fucking amazing. Friday the 13th, the sequel was a little bit better, I guess, to some extent, because I actually had Jason. But the first one established, you know, the fucking, the old Pamela Voorhees, and things like that, so, yeah, but anyways, I kind of want to see what happens in this movie, I want to see the first one, though, at some point, yeah, at some point, not right away, because, like, I'd rather play the games than watch, because, I mean, like I said, I'm not really much of a movie person, I don't really care much about movies, I, I'm more of a gamer, and honestly, the last movie I watched was Terminator Dark Fate. Um, yeah, the mo I, th I think it's the most recent one, I'm not sure. Wait, was Dark Fate the most recent Terminator film? I don't know. But I watched it, and um, yeah, I love that movie. Now, okay, I'm not talking about Terminator right now. I'm talking about video games and video game based movies. Now, I also heard somewhere that along the line they're making a Five Nights at Freddy's movie. How the fuck are you gonna do that? How? No, no, how? How are you gonna do that? The whole premise of the fucking game is surviving Five Nights at Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. Obviously, that's why, that's why it's called that. But. There's nothing to the game. You're just opening and closing doors. You're checking the security camera for any jump scaring fuckers. Okay? How are you gonna do a movie on that? And make it interesting? I don't know. I mean, do I wanna watch it? Yeah. Only because it's a video game based movie. That's the only reason. I don't care about Five Nights at Freddy's. I don't 
like the games. Because not only is it full of jump scares that, honestly, in my personal opinion, don't really need to be there. And I get it, it's the whole point of the game, get jump scared by some shitty animatronics. I... Okay, I, I find it weird though. In movies, you know, I'm watching a horror movie, and the jump scare happens. I like, I love watching horror movies with jump scares, right? But playing a video game like Five Nights at Freddy's, I don't like. Now honestly, it's not because I'm a pussy. Hell no. I just don't really think that, you know, the game has much meat to it. It has like, nothing to it. When all you do in the movie, or in, in the video game, is basically click doors and security cameras and try to block out the evil that's within, which reminds me that probably should make a video game or a movie based on uh, Evil Within. But anyways, um, so yeah, I mean, you know, there's not much to the game. So I am kind of terrified for the movie on that regard if they do decide to make that. I also heard from some people that they're going to make a Minecraft movie. Uh, I think they say it's the same people that made the Lego movie and they're going to make a Minecraft movie. I heard that a couple of years ago, and I haven't really heard anything since then. But um, with COVID and whatnot, a lot of plans have been scrapped and delayed and whatnot, so fuck that shit. Um, but if they do make a Minecraft movie, I think it'll be successful. No matter what, because you got a lot of kids these days that love Minecraft. You got a lot of adult fans that like Minecraft. You got a lot of uh, streamers that like Minecraft and want to resonate and interact with the audience. So they're going to watch the movie whether they want to or not, just because of the publicity and the views and whatnot and things like that. But, um, you know, do I think Minecraft is going to be a good movie if it ever does exist? Yeah. I think it's going to be a really awesome movie. I think that Minecraft will have something to it because the success of the Lego movie and the success of the sequel to the Lego movie, um, you know, it, it has something there. And also, you know, the Lego Batman movie that existed and things like that and whatever, but, eh, fuck it. What some could argue is based off the video game and whatever, but, you know, I don't care. Um, but my thoughts on Minecraft, fuck yeah, definitely they should make a movie, a movie based on that. Now, uh, here is the time where I talk about my thoughts on movies and, you know, these movies and how well I think they will be. The Borderlands movie I don't think is going to do very well. Because if you look at the long history of live action movie adaptations, I mean, oh fuck, and uh, especially of FPS games, look at Doom. You know, look at the one with The Rock. You know, the, the first Doom movie, look at that one. And then look at Doom Annihilation, which a lot of people don't even consider a Doom movie. It's, it's so bad that id Software didn't want anything to do with it. And you know that's bad. When the creators of Doom Wanted absolutely nothing to do with the fucking movie. But anyways, you know, like... You know, those kind of movies, the live action ones, like... Especially back in the day... Um... You know, the whole back in the day sort of thing. They are... Let's just say not really on a good track record so I am honestly scared for this movie I don't really think it's gonna do that well sure you're gonna have some big name actors and actresses in it what pretty fucking shit yeah you know, you're gonna have Jack Black and uh, you know Jamie Lee Curtis and whatever but just because you have big name actors and actresses does not mean your movie is gonna be good it doesn't mean the TV show is going to be good. It doesn't mean the anime is going to be good. It doesn't mean that anything's going to be good. And same with Cyberpunk 2077 when that game came out. 
The whole selling point, in my personal opinion, especially for me, was Keanu Reeves. Uh, Keanu was in it. You know, the old Keanu Reeves was in it. And, um, you know, just because Keanu's in it does not mean the game is going to be good. Now, for me, I'd probably, I'd probably still play it right now, even in its most buggy state. Same with Fallout 76, you know? I'd love to play it in that regard, in that state. But, um, you know, here's the problem with that. I guess you can't really do that right now with Fallout 76 or whatever uh, right now. But anyways, I digress. So, um, yeah, basically, I don't really think that Borderlands is going to do well. Uh, the Mortal Kombat movie, kind of the same way, again, based on the track record of, you know, live action movies. Also, look at the history of each game, or the movie, you know, uh, Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat Annihilation. You know, those kind of games, in some way, I don't really think are gonna do that well because like the movies before it were not that good and then people are going to associate these movies with the other movies that came before it and they're like oh this movie sucked ass this wasn't that good so what makes this movie gonna be any better you know oh what you fucking have Jackie Chan in there whatever oh yeah you should definitely cast Jackie Chan Anybody that is doing a Mortal Kombat or, Mar or uh, a fighting game based movie, like Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter, whatever, Tekken, make Bruce Lee or Jackie Chan one of the characters that are in the movie. Make them a thing. That'd be fucking awesome. But anyways, you know, I know they're, I know they're getting old, probably gonna die soon, I don't know. But, you know, well, but yeah, I mean, I'd love to see Jackie Chan in there at least. Maybe a little bit of Bruce Lee. Um, but yeah, so I don't really think Mortal Kombat is going to do all that well either. I'd love for that to be the case. I I actually, when it comes to movies based on video games or video games in general, I love being proven wrong when it comes to these kind of things. Like, it's like, oh, this movie's going to suck ass. And then two seconds later, oh, shit, this movie was actually pretty good. You know, and things like that. But, eh. I don't really care, honestly. It's not like I have a choice to give a fuck because I don't. I don't care at all about anything, so, yeah. But anyways, my thoughts on Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Well, shit! <laughs> my thoughts on Sonic 2. Um, I think it's probably going to go well, because the first movie was a success. Obviously, it was a success, and that's why they're making a sequel for it. So I think it's probably going to be successful. Not going to be, I don't think it's going to be as successful as, you know, um, other, you know, video game adaptations of, you know, Sonic and whatever. But, I do think that it has some promise and potential to it. So I think it's going to be pretty, pretty decent on the popularity scale. Um, another thing I think... Uh, needs to be talked about is other movies, you know, like uh, fucking Five Nights at Freddy's. I don't see that movie doing well at all. I don't see any plot for that movie. I don't see any way that movie will ever be successful. I heard something that Scott Cawthon is going to be behind it or is going to have a lot of say in what happens in that movie and he's the one that made Five Nights at Freddy's into the popular franchise it is now. But that doesn't mean shit. Right? That doesn't mean anything. Um, you know, so I don't really see you know, FNAF getting a really good, um, you know, movie at all. 
I kind of see it as going to become a failure. Uh, and it's not going to be what people wanted in a Five Nights at Freddy's movie. You can't just put jump scares in your movies or TV shows, video games for no reason. There has to be a point to it, in my opinion. There has to be a point to why you are getting hunted and attacked by these creatures. And honestly, there is no plot to Five Nights at Freddy's. I don't see the appeal behind it. So what if you get jump scared to fucking pieces and you start shitting your pants every goddamn day? Like, I don't see how that is going to be successful at all. Uh, Five Nights at Freddy's, no. I don't see any success being had there. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, I also heard they might be making a Super Mario Brothers movie. Uh, if they do make a Super Mario Brothers movie, I think it's probably going to be successful. In a way, because this is going to be, I think, animated. And it's not going to be like that live action nonsense that they came up with before. So that, I think it's going to be pretty decent, I guess. Uh, the Minecraft movie, if they ever do make it, if it ever does become a thing, I think it's going to be pretty decent. I think Minecraft is going to be really good on that regard. I think Minecraft is going to be really good for, um, you know, a video game based movie. A lot of creativity, a lot of uh, awesomeness. And also The Last of Us, the TV series. Uh, I kind of have, I, I kind of have high hopes for it. I mean, zombie TV shows are big. Zombie movies are big. I mean, look at The Walking Dead, even though this season I think is the final season. I'm not really sure. I don't know. I don't even know what fucking season we're on right now of The Walking Dead, so <laughs> I, can't, I can't fucking remember. Um, but, you know, I kind of see it going well because the game series was pretty good. Um, I love the first game. I'm looking forward to playing the second one. And then, um, you know, there's the case of, you know, just overall not giving a fuck about anything and just making characters for The Last of Us like Joel and Ellie come to life. I kind of want to see that, honestly. Um, you know, I think it's going to be pretty successful in some regards. While in others, I can't really see it working. Like, okay, again, what is the premise going to be? Are you trying to escape whatever area you were? Is, is it going to be like the game? Where you have to escape certain areas and fight your way to find a cure. Because that was the point in the game. You were trying to find a cure to a disease and you found out that Ellie is immune to um, whatever disease is there. So, um, yeah. So basically what we're getting at here is the character that you play as Joel Oh Ah, there we go. That took forever, damn. Anyways, so yeah, it, it has a cool premise, I guess, for an adaptation to a TV series. And I think it would probably go pretty well. Um, and I think, honestly, for you know, a video game adaptation, it's going to be pretty decent, I would say. And I highly recommend that you get the idea to watch it because I would, I'd, I'd fucking watch it at some point. I'd play it. 
Well, actually, you can't really play a movie or a TV show the same way you can play a video game. So, I guess that idea is out of the way. But anyways, guys and gals, overall, you know, my thoughts on the whole video game movie resurgence sort of thing. I think that a lot of people, they learn from their mistakes of the 80s and 90s. They learned from their mistakes of making movies and TV shows based on video games and having them suck. So hopefully, um, you know, these ideas are good. And uh, they don't fuck up and you don't have to lose your asshole over it, you know. Because, like, I really want to see what they can come up with for a lot of these. And, you know, the sooner we find out about these things, the better. Now, okay. Um, another question some people, uh, people might be wondering is, like, what would I want to see a movie based off on, or based off, you know, of? I'd love to see a Fortnite movie. A bunch of people going on battle royale style and killing each other to the last one is standing. Now, I want to see it with blood. Also, I don't think I've ever heard this song before in Minecraft. It's beautiful. But anyways, so yeah, I want to see a, a movie based on that. I want to see a movie based on Skyrim. Because, like, Skyrim has such an amazing idea, you know, in the game. And I'd love to see that be translated into a movie. Or at least a TV series. Imagine having someone be the Dovahkiin, you know, the Dragonborn, you know. Going around hunting dragons and going into different towns and you know, helping people out. Now, the, the choice segments on Skyrim would be a problem though. Cause some people, they're assholes. They wanna kill everyone and anyone. They don't give a fuck who you are. You'll kill anyone or anything that moves. Human, uh, you know, Khajiit, dragon, whether they help you in battle or not. You gotta kill them, you know? I'm that way sometimes, you know? So, And there's other people that are on the morally right side of the law in Skyrim and in general. And they don't kill anybody or do anything stupid. Like, die. You know, they, they wanna... They wanna give a good fight to the dragons. And they, they, wanna, save, they wanna save the world. So that might be a problem. Although I'd say for a movie like that, I would say it'd be pretty good if uh, they had um, some sort of meaning to it where, you know, the Dragonborn, while he may be a awesome badass hero, he can in fact do some things that are not really heroic and just kind of cause a little bit of mischief here and there. I'd love to see, I'd love to see that. That'd be so awesome. Um, and also, games like The Witcher, which I think they've already made a movie or TV series based on, yeah, The Witcher. But if, I think it's that successful. You know, if, if The Witcher can do it, so can Skyrim. You know, if they make a TV show or movie based on Skyrim. And, yeah. Now, I want to see a movie... Let's see, what? Based on Devil May Cry, I think I, they might have made an anime. I remember there being an anime based on Devil May Cry, but I kind of want to see a live action uh, movie based on Devil May Cry. Yeah, a live action Dante. And no, I'm not talking about the shitty reboot or the horrible redesign of Dante. <laughs> That's not, that is not Dante. 
Um, but also, I forgot to mention another movie that's either coming out or just came out recently. Uh, Monster Hunter. Now, my thoughts on Monster Hunter, even though I've never seen it. It looks cool. It's got the same girl that plays the main character in the Resident Evil films. Um, which I like. Because I know her as the main character in the Resident Evil movies. And I think it's going to be good. Also, Monster Hunter, I think, is a Capcom property. So that's another, that's, that's another good thing as well. Ooh, some meat. Anyways, guys and gals, you know, that's my thoughts on the whole resurgence of, um, you know, video game-based movies and TV shows and things like that. I mean, honestly, I like the idea of people making video game-based movies and TV shows because... You know, basically, they don't have to fear the past. They don't fear the past. They don't care whether or not the movie sucks from back then or not. They want to actually make, you know, a TV series. And they want to do it right. And so, I personally think that, you know, it's... It's going to be fun. You know, to see these movies come to life. And TV shows come to life as well. So, yeah. Um, I mean, let me know what you guys and gals think in the comment section down below. You know, what, what do you think about all these video game based movies making a resurgence? Um and things like that. What, what do you guys and gals think of everything? Let me know in the comment section down below, you know? And, um, I think it's gonna be pretty amazing to see some of these films become a thing. You know, I'd love for these to be good. I'd love for these movies to be amazing and to you know, be good. I don't want them to suck. I mean, there would be a difference between a laughably bad movie, like a so bad it's good kind of movie, and a movie that is terrible that nobody can enjoy it. I think there might be a few that are like that here and there. Um, but I definitely think these movies have potential. Oh, also, I want to see a Crash Bandicoot movie be made. Or hell, you know what? I also want to see Contra be a thing. Yeah, an actual Contra movie. I mean, we've already got Terminator. We've already got uh, some Sylvester Stallone action with uh, Rambo. So why not have Contra, which is kind of like Rambo in a way. But not quite. Like, why not? Come on. We need a Contra movie now. <laughs> but, yeah. Like I said, guys and gals, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, if you like this video, give this video a like. If that's fine too. Don't forget to comment down below your thoughts on the whole damn thing. And don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon down below. Uh, to get notified of my future uploads and live streams and whatever the fuck else that I do. Follow me on Twitch because I do some live streams on there occasionally. And as always, I will see you all in the next video. Peace out, people. And bro hoof. Boom.